I want to show you a set of books produced right around Star Trek II that you may have seen, you may even remember, but you probably do not have because they weren't widespread in production. As a reminder, if there are items in this video that you are interested in purchasing, there will be affiliate links that you can find in the description. Additionally, please consider supporting this channel. The easiest way to do so is to press the join button on any video. For a mere 99 cents a month, it will get you access to private community messages, prioritized response to comments, exclusive live streams, and access to videos that have not been released yet to the public. Now, the books were produced as part of a Star Trek II gift set. For collectible purposes, you really want to try to get all three of them in the box still, if possible. If not, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trying to keep your collection as good as you possibly can, one in a box, especially if it's shrink-wrapped, even better. But of course, since I'm not in this to make money collectibles, I unshrink-wrapped mine as soon as I got it. So let's take a look at what the three books are. So one of the things that was really, really popular back in the 1980s were the Choose Your Own Adventure books. So they were all over the place, and this particular book is no different. You take a storyline with the main characters, and it will display a scene to you. And at the end of the scene where it's talking, it gives you this instruction. In this case, if you wish to follow Admiral Kirk, go to page 35. But if you want to stay with a young Vulcan officer, go to page 36. By the time they're done, there are six possible solutions at the end. This remind me actually pretty much of the movie Bandersnatch that was released on Netflix during the pandemic, which presented you with the same type of scenario. They would show you something and then you would choose one of two choices and it would automatically branch to whatever scene you chose next so that you could actually play the movie through multiple times and get different end scenes. Now, the second book to be included here is your Star Trek II short stories. Nothing really special here, but they do sometimes revisit familiar themes. For instance, one of the short stories, The Blaze of Glory, outlines Kirk trying to navigate a situation with the Klingons that could result in a Klingon war. I guess they forgot the Organians were still around. This is biographies. This is the one of the three you want because the unique way that it tells the biographical stories. Each of the characters gives you their own biography in the form of diary entries. For example, in an excerpt by the memoirs of Leonard McCoy, he goes, in the process of writing this memoir, I came across an entry in my diary, which is barely readable after lying for years abraded by electrons, flecked with static, and a unique personal code that he barely recognized. This is some interesting stuff. I haven't read it all the way through, so I can't speak to how accurate it is. But in all honesty, the reason for getting it is to actually get a glimpse of what the personal log might actually sound like for a crew member that you've never heard before. Very, very much like the one at the end of In the Pale Moonlight, where Ben Sisko tells us about how this episode broke so many ethical and moral compliances, but at the end of the day, he would have done it again. So that makes these kind of books really interesting because there's a good chance that you would not remember that they were ever out there. They were not by pocket books, so they received a limited regional distribution. They are available. There's a link down in the description to get you to hopefully find you what's available today on Amazon.